Alright, hey guys, this is going to be the first video in a series of tutorials for GSA Search Engine Ranker. Um, I decided to split the videos up over sections instead of making one long, hour long video or however long it's going to take. Um, so for the first thing, we're just going to cover all the options here, what some of this stuff is, and then we'll go into the global options. Okay, so to start over here on the left hand side, we have the project window. Every time you create a new project, it'll drop down right here. Um, over here we have on the right side, we have the last verified URLs window. As uh, new links get built and submissions are verified, they'll appear over here. And down here, this bottom window is just your activity log. As the software is running, you can see uh, get an idea of what it's doing if it's signing up for websites or posting links you'll see all that down here but when you first start the software it will be completely blank there won't be any of this here um, there's a few options if to start a campaign well you would click the new button to activate it you can click here or you can activate it like this you can select all of them activate or go to inactive then you have your options for exporting URLs you would go to show URLs you can export your submitted URLs or your URLs that have been verified so I'll open that up now and here you can see all the details for your URL um, if you right click you can sort by page rank and page rank is listed here the URL where your link has been left is here anchor text what type of engine it was um, if the link is do follow it'll have an X by it if it, the link is indexable it'll have an, uh, an X by it down here this is the amount of internal links the amount of external links project project name and then your website um, by clicking verify it will run the verification project again these links have already been verified and confirmed that your link is actually on that page but in time your link will fall off that page and sometimes go to the second page if it's like an article directory or something like that and you can re-verify and check which ones have moved off the page then you have your export options here um, all different kinds of uh, formats if you just want to export the URL and PR the URL only all that and let's see you can choose to export as text or as a CSV by selecting down here. Um, also you have the stats button and this is a graph that will show you how many links were built on which day. It will give you a breakdown of the different types of links that were built and then it will tell you how many links are do follow. And you can save these, print them out, whatever you want to do and you can also select different time frames so that's a pretty neat feature there um, if you want to build your own auto approve list so let's say here we have all these verified URLs you can actually select them all and go to verified so now we have all your URLs in the list that the software has been capable of posting to and then you can export them by the actual page URL where your link was left or the domain so that would be the root domain so we'll just grab the URL and we could name it AA list 39 or 3938 exported successfully then what we would do is we could open up a project and click import target URLs if you right click on a project click on import target URLs and that will automatically import your uh, your AA list you just select your AA list and import it in and there you go you also have a few other options if you right click on a project go to modify project of course you can edit it delete target URL cache uh, it's similar to browser cache as as your project is building links it remembers where your links have been left if you delete this target URL cache it basically forgets that and um, 
you could end up building links to the same platforms over again. Um, verify all links. Uh, the way this works is the software doesn't build your links and then right away check to see if the link has been verified on that page. So it can take up to five hours to run through the verification process. So over here on this column here, submitted links isn't the number of total links submitted. This is the number of links pending to be ran through the verification process. So if it finds your link on that page, the number here will increase and this number will go down. So you can see here that this says zero, which confuses a lot of people. Um, but actually that means all the links have been verified and that's why you see this number here. So the verify all links is there if you want to uh, have it run through the verification process a lot faster if you don't want to wait five hours or whatever um, you can click that a box will pop up saying all links will get verified for your selected projects on next verification and that way when it runs the verification it'll try to go through more and it will usually fill this out faster and uh, bring up your verification um, list a lot faster and as your links are verified that's what this window is for you'll see them start to appear here if they're in red that means um, it's just a statistic site um, it's really not too much benefit here if it's a yellow that means it's no follow if it's in green that means it's do follow um, these little icons uh, mean different things some will be articles some will be forums you've got your page rank here you've got the country here and then if you hover over you can actually see more details you can see the project name what type of engine was used anchor text if it's do follow if it's indexable page rank the amount of internal and external links um, so that's just kinda convenient um, to give you information on on the links that have been built so for example if you notice that you're getting a ton of guest books or something like that and you want to actually say you want more uh, article directories or something like that uh, you can go to that project you can duplicate it and then all you would have to do is go in click edit and just uncheck the ones you don't want so you would only have articles and um, if you wanted you could set that priority to higher and oops let me hit ignore 